Okay, here's a tutorial using Adobe Premiere Pro 2017 related to proxy editing. What is proxy editing? First of all, if you have a high quality and large file, let's say a 4K video or a video which has a high compression such as Windows Media Video, then your computer might not be able to handle uh, the high compression or the large file size resolution and the editing might be very difficult so in that case you should create a proxy video which is a smaller version of the same video and you should do the, all the editing on that small file and when you render your file it will be rendered at the original quality in this case 4k file 4k quality okay so let's go to premiere go to file new and project file new project and let's go to ingest settings 2017 version has this one and you should check this box which is ingest if you can't check it then make sure adobe media encoder is installed on your computer first then you'll be able to check it okay here select create proxies the third one and from preset let's say I will choose the first one because that's the smallest resolution okay close it with OK and yes all right the existing one then I should import that video let's say the 4k video simply drag it onto the timeline here and media encoder automatically starts up and starts decoding the file here it is we can see the progress so it's making the lower quality than 24 by 540 so it's making that lower quality file okay and meanwhile here in premiere let's make some editing i will let's say cut the video Control plus k on the keyboard and let's do another run Control k okay zoom in with alt and scroll up and drag it to the left let's say drag that one to the left and ctrl a to select everything ctrl d to add transition to the video track and ctrl shift d to add transition to the audio track okay now this one is still doing the job meanwhile let's add uh, the preview button here let's click on this plus button okay and drag the last one toggle proxies simply drag and drop here onto that toolbar and close it with ok if you want to remove it then simply press reset layout and then we should preview the video itself but let's wait a little bit until this one finishes the compression this is creating a larger file a larger file size but smaller uh, resolution file and that file is available here at that path which is somewhere in the documents folder this one is an MOV file the original one was an mp4 file this is 999 megabytes that almost one gigabyte and the 4k video is only 289 megabytes so this is a lower compression that's why it's larger in size but if we open it okay that's not playing it let's open it with let's say media player if you open it then we can see that the file format is different so this is smaller than even full HD full HD is my monitor and 4k would be four times larger than my monitor okay so that's the proxy file that one let's minimize encoder and get back to Premiere and now we can switch between the 4k video and between the proxy video 
when it's on proxy then it's blue and in this case it has uh, black bars on the margins because the file size the resolution size is not uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio project settings and ingest settings and that's the resolution that I'm using okay and that's why I have these black bars okay but let's preview it Alt and scroll up and now I'm using the let's use the 4k no black bars and place the cursor there and click on play and it was jumping a little bit let's try it once more you could see that it's not fluent we can make it even less fluent by selecting that uh, transition and making it longer let's say 500 frames and if I click play then it's very jumpy it's not fluent at all okay but if we go to the proxy video toggle proxy then if we do the same thing see how fluent it was so let's preview it again so it was not jumping at all okay and now if you press ctrl M on the keyboard and render it it will be rendered at that 4k resolution I'm using the H264 codec and the rest is the same so you can export it and it will create a 4k video okay another thing if I close the program and don't save anything and close encoder also then notice that the proxy file which is one gigabyte in size it will remain there so if you don't want it then delete it okay that's proxy editing inside premiere pro 2017 thanks for watching bye bye